Pabuhay everyone, March is here. Welcome to the channel. And today, I'll be comparing two of the best sneakers from Nike. And this is relatively new. This is the Cosmic Unity, which is made out of 20% trash or recycled material. While on my right is the KD13s, as you know, one of my favorites from last year. So these two sneakers have full length zoom struggle, which I really, really love. And I'll be comparing both and let you know what I think, which one is better for you. So let's go. Before we start off with a comparison between the KD13s and the Cosmic Unity, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so guys. And after this video, please hit the like button. It will really go a long way. So let's start off first with the uppers of this two sneaker. And by the way, if you wanna watch the performance review, of each of the sneaker, I'll be putting the link up here when I mention the sneaker. The KD13s features ripstop upper from the entire sneaker and some synthetic leather overlay, while on the Cosmic Unity, it has the newest rendition of Flynet from Nike. And in terms of performance for both uppers, both have very supportive upper. As you know, ripstop doesn't stretch that much or doesn't stretch at all. It's really a very supportive upper, plus it's very thin. It's lightweight and better ventilation compared to the Flynet of the Cosmic Unity. But the Flynet of the Cosmic Unity really also gives you a very nice structured support all throughout the upper and it looks premium. So in terms of support and durability, it is very nice. So the main difference between the two uppers, of course the Flynet is more high-end or has a better quality looking material compared to ripstop material but but if you like a rugged look on the material the ripstop material on the kd13 really gives you that look especially on my nike bayou which i did the camo upper which i really really dig and a lot of you have been asking me what colorway is this this is actually my customized pair which i didn't regret making while on the cosmic unity the flynet looks really premium the only downside of the flynet is it's a little bit warmer on the foot so if you don't like that feeling but in terms of coziness or comfort you can really feel the coziness of a net or a flying net on the cosmic unity but in terms of support and durability i would say they're pretty much equal both have extra layers for durability on the top of the toe box or at the edge of the toe box for, for those high wear areas. For the KD13s, the extra layer goes to the entire upper or edge of the upper, which is really good for durability and support. While on the Cosmic Unity, you can also see that double layer or excess stitching from the toe going to the side panels of the entire sneaker. So both have very supportive and durable upper, but I would lean more on the support and durability of the Cosmic Unity because of how thick and structured the flying it is. How the sidewalls of the cushion goes up gives you excess support laterally and medially. And of course, the Cosmic Unity rides lower compared to the KD13s, which we'll get into later. As for the lacing system of both sneakers, the KD13 features a very traditional lacing system where it goes up and down when you're lacing it. While on the Cosmic Unity, it has this underlaying lacing system, which I think it's better in terms of fit. When you're really tightening up the laces of the Cosmic Unity, it gives you a better fit. It really hugs your foot very nicely, but nothing bad on the lacing system of the KD13. But the underlaying lacing system really gives you that extra nice fit when you're really tightening up the laces. The, and the laces of the Cosmic Unity has a more premium lace that comes with it. This multi-colored lace that comes with my colorway is a little bit more rounded while on the KD13, it has this very standard and cheap looking laces. The Cosmic Unity has a better padded tongue compared to the KD13, which features this deconstructed tongue on the KD13, which is just one dimensional. While on the Cosmic Unity, it has a perforated foam at the tip of the tongue and at the upper part of the tongue, it's a little bit thicker compared to the KD13s, which I think for both, they're very comfortable, but extra comfort on the tongue of the Cosmic Unity. Now moving on to the heel part of the sneaker. As you know, as you can see, let's put it side by side. When I'm comparing it right now, the edge of the heel goes up the same height, but around your ankle bone, the Cosmic Unity is lower there and the KD13s 
is a mid-cut sneaker all throughout the heel part of the sneaker. The KD13 has a better ankle restriction. But for me, honestly, the height of the sneaker is just for aesthetics or a marketing ploy. It really depends if you want to restrict your ankle more. And according to performance scientists, ankle protection is not on the height of the sneaker. It's actually from the heel containment found on the lower part of the heel. And of course, how stable the heel part of the sneaker is. Of course, if it's flat, or if it has a wider base, and if the heel plate will cup and contain your ankle. So that's where ankle protection is from. It's on the lower part of the sneaker, but not on the height of the heel of the sneaker. But I know for some, they really prefer playing on a mid to high cut sneaker because, because it gives them a psychological security. So it's really to each his own. But if you want more ankle mobility, of course, the Cosmic Unity is for you. But, but if you want more ankle restriction, the KD13s is for you. And as for the Achilles pillows or internal pillows around your ankle, the Cosmic Unity has more padding around your heel compared to the KD13s, but both are very comfortable. And heel lockdown containment, of course in the mid cut it's a lot better, but on a low cut sneaker like the Cosmic Unity, it's not that bad either. And as you can see from the heel part of both sneakers, you can really see the external heel cup of the Cosmic Unity which is really protruding. The only downside that I'm seeing from the Cosmic Unity is the weight of the heel cup because it's really large, so it adds weight on the heel part of the sneaker where on the KD13, it's very minimal. It's just on the cushion side or the lower part of the cushion where it contains your foot. But you can really feel a little bit of weight on the heel part of the Cosmic Unity, especially if you're just holding it you can see the weight leaning on the back part of the sneaker, which I think they can improve on the second edition of the Cosmic Unity. If they will release a second version of this, maybe make the heel cup a little bit thinner so that you can minimize the weight. But other than that, heel containment lockdown on both sneakers are relatively the same. They're very good and they really contain your heel very well. And as for the heel support, I would say the Cosmic Unity has a little bit more advantage because of the swoosh and how big the heel containment are and the cushion really goes up on the heel part of the Cosmic Unity. So it really contains your heel laterally more compared to the KD13 switch. On the KD13s is really good already, but if you want extra heel containment laterally, the Cosmic Unity really gives you that. And you're really sitting low on the Cosmic Unity. The phylon really goes up and cages your foot. So both sneakers really cages your foot very well, but a little extra on the Cosmic Unity, but you won't go wrong with the KD13s. And now moving on to the cushion setup on both sneakers. These two sneakers features full length zoom straw And of course on the Cosmic Unity, the full length zoom straw has a little bit of recycled material. So if you wanna save more on Mother Earth, of course you can support the Cosmic Unity. But on the KD13, it features a full-end zoom straw that is made out of new materials. And as for the bounciness of the full-end zoom straw both are very bouncy. From the forefoot to the heel, they're both very bouncy. The only difference between the two cushion setup of these two sneakers are, of course, the Cosmic Unity. You really sit very low to the ground. So court feel and responsiveness on the Cosmic Unity is really, really good. So if you're looking more for court feel and responsiveness, if you want lower to the ground feel, of course the Cosmic Unity is for you. But if you want more impact protection, that's where the KD13 wins because it has a thicker foam. When you feel the bounce on the KD13, you will also feel extra impact protection on the KD13s compared to the Cosmic Unity where you are closer to the ground. With this one, impact protection, the forefoot and heel, especially in the heel, you will really feel the impact protection more on the heel of the KD13s compared to the Cosmic Unity. Both cushion setups are very, very nice. As you know, I really love the cushion setup on the KD13s, but, but the Cosmic Unity is really growing on me. So it really depends on your preference. If you want lower to the ground feel, very bouncy forefoot and heel, of course, Cosmic Unity. But if you want more impact protection at the same time, very nice bounciness in the forefoot and heel, impact protection in the forefoot and heel too. KD13 is for you, although it sits a little bit higher 
off the ground compared to the Cosmic Unity. And now moving on to the traction of both sneakers, the KD13 features a circular pattern, while on the Cosmic Unity, it has this herringbone pattern or the wave pattern. Both have very hard rubber. My KD13s have XDR rubber, while on the Cosmic Unity, it's not made out of XDR rubber, but it is hard. On a clean court, the grippiness, I would give it to the KD13s. While on the Cosmic Unity, it's not that bad because there's a little bit more bite on the KD13s compared to the Cosmic Unity. Plus, the KD13 squeaks, which I like. It's my preference. It's up to you if you like that. But for me, I like a little bit of squeak on the traction. And on the dusty floor, both have very nice traction too. But same on the KD13s, it's a little bit better. The traction on the dusty floor on the KD13 is a little bit better compared to the Cosmic Unity. But both can grip on a dusty floor, which I am kind of impressed. Like on the Cosmic Unity, I thought I would be slipping on a dusty floor, but it still grips very nicely. But on the KD13, it's been tried and tested. I played with this on a moist floor, dusty floor, and a clean court. The KD13's traction is better compared to the Cosmic Unity. Both sneakers have Bidfoot shank, which is made out of plastic or TPU. And it has a little bit of spring back to it, like the Cosmic Unity. It's harder to bend on the KD13 because it has thicker foam compared to the Cosmic Unity, which has a thinner foam that comes with it. And both sneakers, you need a little bit breaking time to break in the foam on both sneakers. But after that, they're really very, very nice. Another difference that I noticed for both is the heel to toe transition. So you can see, I'll just move this. There's more curve on the forefoot part of the KD13s compared to the Cosmic Unity. But both have very nice rounded heel outsole for heel to toe transition. Because the KD13 has a thicker foam cushion, so it's a little bit sloped from the heel going down to the forefoot. So it has a better heel to toe transition compared to the Cosmic Unity, which the foam is relatively flat. So I would say heel to toe transition a lot better on the KD13s. And as for the stability, the Cosmic Unity around the forefoot is a little bit more stable compared to the KD13's forefoot part. It's more flat on the Cosmic Unity compared to the KD13's, which is a little bit rounded on the forefoot. And as for the width of the outsole, the Cosmic Unity is wider by just a tiny bit. So for foot stability, I would give it to the Cosmic Unity. And for the heel width, both are equally the same. So if you want a more stable forefoot, Cosmic Unity. But if you want a better heel to toe transition, the KD13s. As for the sizing for both sneakers, regular footers, if you are like me, go true to your size. And if you're wide footer, go half a size up. And as for the price point, Cosmic Unity is 7,900. While on the KD13, it's 7,400 or 500 pesos difference or $10 more expensive on the Cosmic Unity. And as for the weight of these two sneakers, the KD13 is 36 grams lighter compared to the Cosmic Unity, mainly because of the foam at the heel part of the Cosmic Unity. The flying upper on the Cosmic Unity is heavier compared to the very lightweight ripstop material on the KD13s. To wrap things up, if you want a more premium material for the upper, a very low profile, close to the ground, cushion setup, very responsive, and a more stable forefoot and a low cut sneaker, Cosmic Unity is for you. And of course, if you have more budget because it is more expensive. If you want a mid cut sneaker, a very thin upper, and of course, better impact protection in the forefoot and heel, and a better traction, and a better heel to toe transition, the KD13 is for you. So it just depends on your preference, but both of these sneakers are very impressive. Both sneakers are currently on my top favorites right now, or my go to sneakers. So that's it on my comparison between the KD13s and the Cosmic Unity. I hope I help you choose between these two sneakers. Thank you for watching again. This has been Mark Chess. Thanks for the support. I appreciate you guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.